given question find mass moment of inertia about x axis for the composite body mass is equal to 10 kg per meter square in this question we have to find out mass moment of inertia for the given composite body about the axis x x how to calculate the mass of the given composite so we have to add the mass of these two square plates and we have to subtract the mass of these two holes then we will get the total mass of the composite body we will first give numbers to these parts so this composite body is made up of two square plates and two holes so we will first give the number so this is the square plate number 1 square plate number 2 hole number 3 and this is the hole number 4 to find out mass moment of inertia we have to prepare one table so for the first column is the solid number so we have to mention all these solids as per the given numbers then the second column is for mass so in question mass is given m is equal to 10 kg per meter square that is for 1 meter square area mass is equal to 10 kg so we will first calculate the area of these given parts so for this square plate how to calculate the mass so we will first calculate its area so area is equal to this 0.4 multiplied by 0.4 that is there are two sides and we have to take its square and for this area we have to multiply with 10 then it is equal to 1.6 kg so these two square plates are identical so mass is same now we will calculate mass of this square mass of these holes now it is equal to area of the hole whole area that means pi into r square where radius is given 0.1 meter for each hole so pi multiplied by 0.1 square and multiplied by 10 so it is equal to 0.314 kg so we have to write this if we observe this given diagram then we have to first find out the center of gravity point for each shape now if we observe for shape number 1 and shape number 3 this center is the middle point now for this square plate where is the middle point this middle point is nothing but the center of the hole so we can say that for this square plate and for this hole center of gravity point is same that is g so we will mention here now we will show the two axes passing through this center of gravity that is known as centroidal axis so this horizontal axis is known as xc and the vertical axis is known as yc so how to find out the mass moment of inertia about this axis xx so we will use parallel axis theorem if we observe the centroidal axis xc then this xc and x parallel to each other so when we are going to use parallel axis theorem then we have to find out distance in between these two parallel axis now in the same way we will move to the shape number 2 and 4 so here also the center of gravity point for this square plate and this hole is same because at it is at the center of this square plate so here is the common center of gravity g so again we will show the two axes centroidal axis xc and yc so if we observe this xc is parallel to x so we will use the parallel axis theorem now we will move to the shape number 1 that is this square plate so for this square plate here is the g and we are going to use the centroidal axis xc so xc and x are parallel to each other so what is the moment of inertia for this square plate about xc 
so we have formula so for square plate we have to take 1 by 12 m a square in theory lecture we have seen rectangular plate but here is square plate so each side is equal to a so same formula is there 1 by 12 m a square so we will put the value so mass of square plate is 1 by 6 so which is equal to 1 by 12 multiplied by 1.6 multiplied by a area that is the one side is equal to 0 0.4 square now distance in between x and xc so here is the distance this is the middle point of this one side so distance is 0 0.2 now the same data is repeated for the shape number 2 because these two square plates are identical. So if we observe the distance in between xc and x, this is also the center of this side. So it is 0 0.2. Then here 1 by 12 m a square. This side is also equal to 0 0.4. So 1 by 12 multiplied by 1.6 multiplied by 0 0.4 square. Now we will move to the hole. Now for hole also center of gravity point G is same and XC is same. So mass is given. Now what about the MI about the centroid? So here we will use the formula for moment of inertia of the disc about the centroidal axis. So about centroidal axis we have same formula that is Ix is equal to Iy is equal to 1 by 4 mr square. Where r is the radius and it is equal to 0 0.1. So I will write here which is equal to 1 by 4 mass is 0 0.314 multiplied by r that is 0 0.1 square. So here same formula is repeated for the shape number 4 that is 1 by 4 into 0 0.314 multiplied by 0 0.1 square so same values are there now what is the distance in between this xc and x now if we observe these two holes then this is the center point so same distance is there so it is 0 0.2 and here also 0 0.2 so this table is completed. Now we will use the parallel axis theorem. Now if we observe for shape number 1 and shape number 2, the values are repeated. That means same values are there for mass m for the cent uh, mi about the centroid and the distance. So we will just multiply here with 2. We will remove this column. Now in the same way for whole also same values are repeated. So we will multiply here with 2 and we will remove this. We will calculate mass moment of inertia of these two solid plates about the axis xx. So Ixx is equal to Ixc. So Ixc is given 0 0.02133 plus mass 1.6 multiplied by d 0 0.2 square. So we have to take this value for 2 times. So we have to multiply with 2. So answer is 0 0.08533 multiplied by 2. Now we will calculate mass moment of inertia for these two holes about the axis xx. So here we will take Ixc. So here is the value 7.85 into 10 raised to minus 4 plus mass 0 0.314 multiplied by d 0 0.2 square so this there are two holes so we have to take this value for two times so we will multiply here with two so answer is 0 0.013345 multiplied by two now if we observe this composite body is made up of the addi mass addition of mass of two square plates minus that is the subtraction of mass of the two holes. So in the same way we will take the mass moment of inertia for this two square plate minus mass moment of inertia of the two holes. So when we subtract this value from this value then we will get the answer 0 0.14397 kilogram meter square.